Amy here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, so for the month of December, I am doing a Christmas extravaganza and I am doing extra planning videos and extra um, things to show how I use my different planners and, you know, celebrate Christmas and all of that. So one of the things I'm doing is a... A look into how I use my A6. So next year I will be using a A6 Hobonichi, uh, an Avec, not a full, um, not like a full year, um, which I'll show you soon when it arrives and give you a bit of an indication of how I'm going to use it and what I'm going to use it for. Um, but until that arrives, I've just been using this uh, lined A6 notebook from, um, where's it from, Amy? Spit it out. Came up, there we go. Um, and sometimes I do dailies, and sometimes I do weeks on a page, and sometimes I do, um, sometimes I do like week over four pages, just to see what it's like. But I am moving back into a day to a page now that I'm moving back into my A6 Hobonichi weeks, um, which I'm a little bit worried about, a little bit worried about days to a page, but. We'll get there, um, and because it's Christmas month, all of my spreads are Christmas themed, and I'm going to be using, ooh, just dump that down, Amy, um, use this Christmas themed kit called Christmas Prep from Print Petticoat Bandit, and I am so excited. Um, this is the first kit I ever tried to print on my own, um, so um, it's not perfect. Like, this page, it's like the, I need to like reset my print lines and, these ones are pretty good, but this one's like a bit rough. So um, the date dots aren't fantastic, but they're fine and they'll do and we'll make it work. But um, let me grab out these three pages and there's ink on it. And it's just, I'm using um, Cricut sticker paper and it's not the best, like it's fine, but my printer doesn't like it very much because it's letter, not A4. Anyway, so just... Yeah, it's, it's temperamental is all I'm going to say. Um, so let's go and set it up. Um, oh, come on. I don't even know if I've cut these like deep enough or if I've cut them too deep or like the whole thing is an experience. Since cutting these, I've had a go at cutting some other ones using some slightly different um, cut settings, which has worked better. But this was my first one, so it's certainly not perfect. I'm going to put the date covers here. Um, so Monday, Tuesday. Okay, I put the date covers in. Um, I feel like big parts of this video are going to need to be skipped because I'm having real difficulty getting stickers off the paper. Um, and I hope it's just this page because I've used a different cut setting on this one than I did to this one. Actually, let's check that. Let's do this sticker. Yeah, so these ones come up much better, but I'm just a bit wary that I might need to, um, like, get out my tweezers and I have to, like, flick it up and everything. So I'm just, I'm a bit, yeah, I'm just a bit worried, I suppose. Um, I'm a bit worried. Now, to let you know about this paper, because I might as well tell you. So this is the Cricut brand printable vinyl. Um, and it's nice enough. It's quite sticky, as you can see, as it keeps sticking to my hand. Oh, come on, I really wanted to see where the middle is. Otherwise, I have to guess, and that's not going to be nearly as good. Why didn't that work? Um, my fingerprints are now all over it, but that's all right. Oh, and so is my nail polish, so... That's going to be fun. Um, it's very sticky. It's easy to work with. Um, it's not my favorite sticker paper. I've been experimenting with a couple of different ones. I'm leaving nail polish everywhere. Um, so it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's nice enough. It's just, it's not, it's a bit. So my printer doesn't like it. I've got a very good printer. Like I've just got a, you know, middle, uh, probably, I don't know, can you divide mid-range into, like, good quality mid-range and not so good quality mid-range? 
because it's a perfectly acceptable mid-range printer. It's just, whoa, not, uh, how do I put it? So these stickers don't come up very well. Ooh. Yeah, these stickers really don't come up very well. I should have used my undo. Um, that's better. Um, I don't know. They just it doesn't. I don't know if it's my printer not liking it or uh, I don't know what that is. I need to clean my desk again. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if my printer doesn't like it or it's just the paper. It just looks a bit. Everything looks a bit faded, and not in a like cool vintage way. Just like like my printer wasn't doing well. And I used um, different printer paper when I did my summer spread which is the same week as this. And I think it's already come out. It should have already come out. Um, and that just looks nicer. Like this one just doesn't look as nice. And it's it's a bit hard to work with. Like some sticker paper is easier to work with. This one's not one of them. So that being said, you can get it at Spotlight, which does help if I run out of paper. Like I can just go to Spotlight and get some. Because it's kind of... Like I haven't had a chance to try... Office work sticker paper yet. That's my next one to try. And I have only tried um, this one, the um, Spotlight brand um, printable vinyl, which I don't like at all. It's very hard to print on. Um, uh, and oh, the Mumsy and Bub one that I used for my other spread. Yeah, see, this doesn't come up very well. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this one. So, once I try the office work one, though, I'll be able to see, like, if there's going to be a good alternative that I can get, like, I can just go to the shop and get. Ugh. It's just, yeah. Anyway, I like the Mum Zimba sticker paper I don't like that I have to order it and then it takes you know a week to get here which is fine I just have to be a bit more on the ball I'm not very much an on the ball person sometimes sometimes I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna do this and then I realize that I haven't ordered sticker paper um or I haven't done whatever I do like how this looks though um and so then like things just don't work um, so this kit is called, what did I say it was called? It's called Christmas Prep. It's from Print Petticoat Bandit. It's very, 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 very pretty. I do like it a lot. Um, and I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to use a printable kit. Um, I could have been less lazy and have actually cut it in half, but no, that was never going to happen. Um... And I like to store it in my A4, um, uh, what's it, what am I going to call it? Um, my disc, it's like it's a disc bound planner. I was using it when I was teaching, like actually teaching, not education leadership teaching like I am at the moment. Um, um, I use this one down here. Like this. That's crooked, but that's all right. Um, and now that I'm not using that planner for that anymore, I'm like, well, I have this this um, A4 disc bound cover, and it's gorgeous. It's from um, uh, Lex Stationery. Um, and I thought, you know, I might as well keep my printable stickers in there. And I have some, like some that I've made myself, some that are just like date covers or, you know, icons or whatever. That's so cute. Um, and so, yeah, like, I just, yeah. I could be less lazy and cut it in half, and it'd probably be easy to use, but we'll see. This is really cute. Dear Santa, I have been good all year. I look forward to baking your cookies. Yours, uh, sincerely, uh, sincerely your favourite. Which is so true. Um, although I doubt I will be baking any cookies this year, because I am trying to be more healthy. And cookies does not help me with that, because I will eat all of them. 
all of the cookies. All of them. Um, so that's kind of the basics. I do have some of these checklists, which I'm going to put down the bottom for my, my three things that I'm tracking, which, uh, come on. Um, so two things that I've noticed using this, I need to recalibrate my print settings, or sorry, my cut settings on my Cricut because it's not quite cutting straight. It doesn't help that I'm not putting the stickers down straight, but it's also not cutting straight. Um, it's just a bit too far across. So I will fix that. But also, this kit is so cool. Like that's, that's the, really the bit that I wanted to get out. Let me grab these tweezers. Um, so I think if I get the, the cut settings better, it'll make, it'll just look better. If that makes sense. Like these, um, like these won't look quite so crooked and everything. So that'll be good. That'll be really good actually. All right. I got the last of those little check boxes up. I had a bit of trouble with those and then I went through and put the date dots in because when I tried to lift these it was just impossible. Um, now I really wanted to use some of these but they are very badly cut so I need to work on that. Um, like for example if I can get this one up. Like it's just it's it's badly cut so I can't really use those which is disappointing. Um, like this whole sheet's pretty much not great so i'm not overly happy like i wanted to use this weekend sticker but you can't really read it so i actually might just chuck that sheet it's really not like not you know what yeah i am because like even if i try and pull up this one it just like do you see what i mean like it's just not it's not right and to be honest i don't love that sheet as much as i love the others so um, um, what am I going to do? So, what else am I going to put in here? Like, what else do I want to put in here? I want to put this in because it's very pretty. But I'm kind of running out of ideas, which is not flash. Um, where am I going to put this? I want to put this here. I'm going to put it here. So I've got something on Sunday. Okay. Let's just take a step back for a second. I need to get out two things from the giant pile of Christmas stickers I've got beside me. I need these because they're my countdown to Christmas. And I need, where have they have gone? The advent calendar stickers from Behaving Designs. I have a big pile of Christmas stickers and they were just in there. Um, so I need to open day one on the second. And I need to open day two on the fourth. And I am opening those here on YouTube with you guys. So if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe. Um, and then I need to work out how many days till Christmas. So just give me a second. All right. So the 29th is 26 days till Christmas. Yeah. So that's going in there. And then I'll put in the 25th. Um, 24. I love these little Rudolph um, countdown stickers. These ones are from PM Designs. Um, came in an oops set. So it's, um, they're not perfectly cut, but you know, they're very small. You can't really tell. Like they're little itty bitty tiny. They're only just cut a little bit off, you know, far better than the ones that I was cutting for myself, which are very badly cut. Um, they're just so cute. And what have I got left? 
I want to put in a sticker here. I think that's it. They're the only things that I've definitely got on. Um, and I think I'll save the rest. So let's have a look. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then notes for the week after. So if I got one that says next week, I do. Ugh, I'm not enjoying this paper at all, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to try a different paper to see if that helps in any way, shape or form. Um, yes, so... Just to let you know, my habit tracking will go here. So the three things that I'm tracking, I'll do here, and then I can tick it off each day, which I think is a really cool way of doing it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you were enjoying my Christmas extravaganza. And next week's A6 will be a week over four pages, so that's exciting. Um, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, so yeah, please subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this um, and let me know what you want to see as part of the Christmas extravaganza, if I can get that word out. Um, you can follow me over on Instagram at, at Amy's Planner. I'd love to see you there as well. And most of all, I hope you'll have a lovely day. Bye.